When I started working with light, I was looking at buildings and thinking of windows as pixels and wanting to, to sequence them. My work with light has always been about sequencing, programming, so it's necessitated some sort of control mechanism. I started with, you know, at the lowest level where zero is off and one is on, you start to build up these sequences and um, that's what the piece becomes. When I'm making these patterns, I create tools for myself, very simple tools. Take a pixel and have it move across the screen and when it encounters a boundary, it might turn the other direction or when it encounters another object, it might bounce or they might join together something might happen. I don't really know what is going to result from all these objects interacting. It's interesting to me to create a framework or a, a field or a, you know, an area for something to occur in. When something interesting occurs, I'm able to capture that moment and that becomes part of the selection for the material that goes into the, the final piece. I then use another program to display them on the pieces using kind of an elaborate shuffle scheme where there's a random selection of which sequence to play and then a long crossfade between sequences. Not that I can author completely on the computer I always need to be in the space and seeing the light itself because that the quality of the light is very different than seeing a pixel on a screen. When you would look at the sculpture, you had this sense that it was communicating in some way. It got into this area of pattern recognition where you really wanted to decode it, so you're trying to make meaning out of these sort of, not exactly random patterns, but things I had created. It's, it's virtually infinite, the possibilities.